Modes of Reproduction in Animals Asexual Reproduction in Animals The mode of reproduction where only one parent is involved and no reproductive cells or gametes are involved is a process called asexual reproduction. Some invertebrate animals like the sponge, hydra, and planaria can reproduce asexually. Animals can reproduce asexually in the following ways. Budding. Budding is a type of asexual reproduction where the parent organism produces outgrowths called buds in its body. New organisms are developed as small buds on the outer surface of the parent organism. The buds may break off and a new organism emerges. The new organism may detach and live independently or may remain attached in the parent's body forming a colony. Budding occurs in hydra as well as in sponges and some worms. Hydras are composed of several kinds of cells. As the budding begins, undifferentiated cells on the side of the parent hydra undergo repeated divisions, producing a small mound of cells. These cells continue to divide, and in a few days a small complete hydra with a mouth and tentacles is formed. The hydro bud eventually separates from the parent. Both hydras and sponges can reproduce sexually and asexually. Regeneration Regeneration is the ability of an organism to regrow lost body parts. Simple animals such as planaria, starfish, and earthworm have the ability to regenerate lost parts. If a planaria is cut into several pieces, each of the pieces will grow into a complete worm. A starfish feeds on oysters. Oyster harvesters used to destroy the starfish they caught by cutting them into pieces and tossing the pieces back into the water. They did not know that each part of a starfish can regenerate into a whole new organism as long as it contains a piece of the central disk. Instead of reducing the number of starfishes, oyster harvesters were actually helping the starfish to multiply. As animals become more complex, the power of regeneration decreases. A crab can regrow a lost claw but cannot regenerate a whole animal from small pieces. Mammals can repair damaged tissues but cannot regenerate a lost leg or even a toe. Planarians belong to the group of animals called flat worms. They live in streams, lakes, sea water or damp soil. They may have green, yellow or black stripes or are plain gray, brown or black in color. They have two dark eyes that are sensitive to light, but they cannot form images as most of the eyes of many animals can. Planarians feed on other small animals or on dead animal matter. Grooves of peats on each side of the head can sense food. The planarian can regenerate into an entire animal from a fairly small segment. However, they can also reproduce sexually because they have a well-developed reproductive system. Some of them are hermaphroditic. Two planarians may mate and exchange sperm. Fertilized eggs are shed in capsule and in a few weeks, the eggs hatch into tiny worms which grow into adults. The starfish belongs to the group called spiny-skinned animals. The body of the starfish consists of a central disc from which the arms radiate. Most starfish have five arms. 
but some have as many as 20. Starfish has an amazing ability to regenerate missing parts. Moreover, starfish can reproduce sexually. Sexes are separate in starfish. Gametes are shed through openings in the central disk into the water where fertilization occurs. The fertilized egg develops into a bilaterally symmetrical, free-swimming larva. After several weeks, the larva attaches to a solid surface and develops into a small starfish. The earthworm belongs to the group called segmented worms. The body of the earthworm is cylindrical and divided into ring-like segments. On each segment, except for the first and the last, are pairs of tiny bristles called setae that help the worm move through the soil. Earthworms have no eyes and ears. They are sensitive to heat, light, and touch. They may reproduce both asexually through regeneration and sexually. Parthenogenesis this mode of reproduction is usually found in females where growth and development of embryos occur without fertilization by a male. Parthenogenesis occurs naturally in some invertebrates like the species of wasps, bees, and ants. For example, in bees, the queen bee mates only once. She can then produce either unfertilized eggs or fertilized eggs. The unfertilized eggs become male drones while the fertilized eggs become female workers or queens. Advantages and Disadvantages of Asexual Reproduction in Animals Advantages of asexual reproduction to certain animals are as follows. Animals that remain alone in one particular area can propagate its generation in the absence of a mate. Numerous offsprings can be produced without costing the parent a great amount of energy or time. In a constant environment, a large number of populations can be produced in a short period of time. Disadvantages of asexual reproduction to animals are as follows. All of the organisms are genetically identical and therefore share the same weaknesses. If the stable environment changes, the consequences could be fatal or deadly to all of the individuals. Sexual Reproduction in Animals In sexual reproduction, Two parent organisms are involved, the male and the female. The female parent produces egg cells, and the male parent produces sperm cells. When the egg cell unites with the sperm cell, the process called fertilization happens and the new cell that is formed is called zygote. The zygote develops and grows into a new animal. This means that a baby animal carries the characteristics of the two parent where it came from. In most types of animals, the sexes are separate. That is, each individual has either testes or ovaries and is either male or female. There are some animals that contain both testes and ovaries. Such organisms are called hermaphrodites. Hermaphroditism is generally common among slow-moving or sessile animals such as earthworms, snails, and hydras. Although hermaphroditic organisms can produce both egg and sperm, self-fertilization is rare. Instead, these organisms exchange sperm with another animal of the same species. For example, during mating, two earthworms lie parallel to each other. Each transfers sperm to the sperm receptacle of its partner. After they separate, 
Each worm uses the stored sperm from the partner to fertilize its own eggs.